Welcome back boys. Some of you guys might recognize this. It's Ken's Garage where we were working on his 2018 Mustang. And uh, you can see it's all back together here. We've got a little bit of buttoning up to do underneath the car. Fuel lines and stuff just to tuck them all up. Um, put in some drive shaft bolts for the aluminum drive shaft and then we can put it on the ground and start taking it for a drive. Today is the day that we start the tuning with Lund. Um, it's got a brand new clutch in it, so we kind of have to break that in. We can't go too hard on the car. But um, we'll take it out. We'll take it up to about 3,000 RPM. We'll send one the log, and then we'll be able to creep up and creep up. So we will be remote tuning this car. But however, they, they've been known to do so many uh, coyotes that the base map that he sent us, uh, it fired up right away, and it was just like, yeah, it looks normal. Work, works perfect. It, we knew it was going to work like that. So um, that's what we'll be doing today. I'm going to pop the hood and show you. There it is. Look at that big whiffle right there. The biggest pull you can get on there, 4.0. We have a 3.8 also to go on it, and that's about as big as you want to go for the stock motor. It should should hit 700 wheel horsepower pretty easy on that pulley. So we put a gauge in our second regulator here, and we just have to start it. And uh, this is for the direct injection pump. And this one's supposed to be set at 60 PSI, that one's set at 50. So we're just setting this one and then we'll pull the gauge out and tuck it away because it's a static 60 PSI. It's all three, three inch mandrel bent, dual X pipe that you don't even want. I don't even want it, like open headers, bro. Yeah, but you got the cool active exhaust, so it's gonna be cool, sound cool. Somebody tell them to keep these wheels and not put XXRs on it. Yeah, but Fort McMurray roads. Whatever. So why does it matter? Whatever. For like $200 a wheel? Whew. So we were dealing with this stupid thing, but because these are clamped right here, um, they need to be re-expanded. We couldn't get the pipes in there. So no X pipe, no mufflers. Fuck Said that. to the heck with it. The heck with it. To the heck with it. No swearing on this channel anymore. And that's all we're running. Open headers right there. No cats, long tube headers on a supercharged car. It's going to be loud. It's going to be like... That's what I do to your mom. Tires go on. It's on the ground. Big moment. This is how all of 2018 Mustangs should have came. This one, however, 1,500 miles on it. What we're going to do is we'll probably cold start it in here. Check for any leaks or anything before we leave and then head out, get some logging done. It's so loud. We're awesome like that. Look at my Mutang, look how dirty it is. Start logging? Starting the log. So three minutes here. Yeah, we've got specific instructions. Pacific instruction appliances, we got this. Three to five minutes at idle. Then you rev it up to 1500 to get those load cells. 2500 and 3500 just to hit all the load cells in uh, like no load. And then we'll drive around, hit those same RPMs again to get those cells and then slow climbs from like 3000 RPM up to 5000 RPM. And we're just trying to hit as many load cells on the table of graph, on the graph of the RPM load scale. And then we'll send that off to Lund, he'll check it over, he'll send us one back, we'll re-upload it, and then probably do the next thing he tells us. Perfect, now we drive. Now we drive. Eric's gonna be so pissed. Eric has to work night shift tonight, and his bedroom is literally right there. Right there. Take another junk forward now. We just sent off our first log. Um, it's falling on its face, so hopefully it comes back with uh, some revisions to that one. And we're gonna go get some pizza while we're waiting. Didn't eat yet this morning. I got no time for eating anymore. You guys are too needy. You guys are like, Kyle, you haven't posted a video in like three days. I'm like, yeah, I've been banging chicks, slamming them. I'm just kidding, only one, but lots. Lots, I tell you. There's a bitch. The thing's right here, actually. Am I the only one who likes these? I liked them enough that I got two. How much sugar? 43 grams of sugar in each one. 
86 grams of sugar. Oh, can I add extra sauce on mine? Yes, please, thank you. Oh yeah, you like it saucy. Like Kyle, you this literally live Kyle with your work. camera. That's all you do. Like, I know. You just walk around with your camera and like make everybody feel like You should awkward. see what, what I film at when I go to bed. I know, your poor girlfriend. Right. I kind of feel bad for her sometimes. What do you mean? She's a YouTuber too. So we just got the email back from London. Apparently we got like a defective 150 millimeter throttle body for the Whipple. Which has been a known case, I guess, on a few cars he's tuned with 150 lately. Yeah, it's something to do with it. it retards a lot of timing and makes the exhaust real hot. You're gonna, they're gonna have to either send a new one or have to send one and they have to modify it and bring it back. But it's still gonna be a couple days, or weeks at. No, they better fix this shit now. Yeah, well it's gonna be, it won't be the next couple days anyways that we'll have it fixed. So we have to pull the throttle body off and get that sent out. But that's the issue we were having with the logging, trying to accelerate, it just went into like limp mode. And we live in Canada, so it's not like, you can't overnight it. It's overnight is like three day shipping. How much do you care that your neighbors are gonna hate you? I mean, it's definitely big enough. Oh yeah, look, it gets stuck here. Yeah. Oh! How much room for activities there is in this thing? It's a massive amount of room, yeah. I was literally on my way home and Kent texts me, he's like, turn around, Lun just sent us a new tune to try. So maybe the tune's gonna fix the throttle body issue? We'll check. Yeah, it didn't last long. Yeah. Putting it back on now? Here you go. Oh, you had to undo all your tape box that you just did? I just used the the short answer, yes. I just watched you put like 20 rolls of duct tape on that box. <laughs> oh, right here, yeah. <laughs> you just finished duct taping the whole thing. So you put that back on, and I'll download the new tune. This is my shitty ass Acer laptop that I've had for like six years. I actually have my Super for six years now, and I had this, I bought this laptop for when I had a Sylvia. We just gotta wait like uh, probably 47 minutes for this to load now. Actually, last time it was really long, but this time I don't think it has to save the stock tune anymore. Take that, you whore. It's about to get loud in here. Okay. Loud noises! Try the partial throttle at idle type thing. Okay, yeah. And now it's stumbling again? Yeah. Oh, I thought we had it for sure. Yeah, we have a throttle body actuator engine code, which probably explains why the throttle body is messing up. Again, this has happened with a few of the 150 millimeter throttle bodies, according to John Lund Jr. Okay. Yeah, you take that throttle body back off. We're back a week later. Exactly a week later, I think. I don't know. And the throttle body's back. And the Frenchman is sleeping. And the Frenchman is sleeping, so we gotta push this outside. We got to go ahead to do like a 2,000 to 4,500 RPM pull at wide open throttle. We 
we've tamed another passenger. <laughs> Got some weight in the back of the car now. A little bit. First start up on ethanol. Let's see how it goes. So ethanol, we just got the we just got the word back. Ethanol looks good. So we're going to make our first 5,000 RPM pull on ethanol. I should also note that it's minus two degrees out, so it's boost weather and uh, tire slippage weather. Oh my god, fucking get out of the fucking way, man. video I'm gonna give you some context here so we did a bunch of logging this was over the course of about 10 days uh, we were still having a bit of throttle issues they sent us a new throttle harness we haven't installed that yet but it's just too much to uh, be logging on the streets it's it's just spinning out so we're actually gonna be taking it to a dyno tomorrow I might go live from the dyno thumbs up if you want to see that yeah, we're going to finish the tuning on the dyno with Lund, so it'll still be email tunes, but we'll give you some dyno numbers. Um, we have a couple pulleys we can put on it and see if we can kind of maximize the setup. We have like, we have four pulleys. We have everything from a 4.0 down to like a 3.65, and it's literally safe, conservative, having fun, and then like to party. So we'll see where we end up on the scale of uh, like, Kent always goes to 12, so we're probably gonna party anyways. Yeah, that, that's all I have for you, really. I, I guess there was more, not much more to say for that. We spent a lot of time on this, and the clips were over like a stupid period of time. Canadian shipping is so stupid. And uh, so, PC easy, get that V. I did that really fast. But yeah, get that, get a quickie in before you watch the next video tomorrow.